All right, so let's take a look at finding probability, uh, and we have a uniform distribution. All right, so first, before we get started on the problem, uh, let's take a look at this, the uniform distribution. So, so basically what we've got here is the distribution, it's just a straight line. Now, you're going to have a, a maximum and minimum value in the distribution. So, for instance, A and B. So, A would be the minimum value that X can take on, and B would be the uh, maximum value that X could take on. And then, if we want to find the probability of, say, X being between C and D. Well, C and D would be two numbers in here. So the probability would be D minus C over B minus A. So it would be this value minus this value over this value minus this value. So the the thing that we have to do is first, and well, in the problem, they'll have to give us what capital A and capital B are, okay? And then as far as C and D, well, that's what they want you to find the probability between, okay? And, and look, all this is is finding the area under this curve, okay? And remember for a uniform, well, for any probability distribution function, the area under this entire curve here Okay, no matter what A to B are, the area under the entire curve, that's 1. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So it says, suppose X is a random variable that has a uniform distribution with A equals 150 and B equals 200. All right, so I, I know over... At the first, they had, you know, it showed it with capital A, capital B, and here it's lowercase a, lowercase b. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. But this is the minimum value that it can take on, and this is the maximum value. All right. So first, let's look at part A. All right. Now, what I would recommend whenever you're doing these problems is draw the picture, okay? Draw it out. All right, so there's my minimum and maximum value. So let's just go ahead and draw this out. All right, so here we've got 150, and there we've got 200. All right, so we're looking for the probability that X is greater than 175. All right, so what I would do is I would put 175 in here and draw in what we're looking for. Well, we're looking for the probability that X is greater than 175. So that's this area here. All right. Now, I know with the probability of 175, you're looking, well, in that area from here all the way all the way out here to infinity. Yeah, that's what they're looking for. But in this uniform distribution, the maximum value that X can take on is 200. All right. So once we get outside here, okay, all this stuff over here, let me get a different color and show you. So all this stuff out here, well, Remember, the probability is the area under this curve. Well, all this probability out here, well, there's no height here, right? That area there is zero. Okay, so the probability that X is greater than 175 would be 175 to infinity. So it would be this area plus the area from here to infinity, which would be zero. So it's just this area. All right. 
So I'm not going to go over that every time, but I just wanted you to make sure on this one that you, you know, you understand what's going on. All right. So let's go ahead and find this probability. So the probability that X greater than 175. All right. So remember it's, it was this between the two numbers. All right. All right, so this is going to be 200. See, because that's the maximum value. Just like, look, just like in the in the problem I had earlier, A, B, and remember the probability C less than X less than D. Remember that probability was D minus C over B minus A. Okay. So that's the maximum value. So see, it would be two numbers in here. The maximum value minus the minimum. That gives us the numerator. And then the maximum value and the minimum value that the distribution can take on. Okay, so B minus A. All right. So in this case, yeah, it's greater than 175, but we've got to stop here at 200. Okay, so in this case, D is 200. So that's 200 minus 175 over 200 minus 150. And so that is going to give us, what, 25 over 50, which is 1 half. All right. All right, so let's take a look at the, at the next one. Let's look at part B. So we've got the probability that X is less than 160. All right, so let's draw the picture and draw in the 160 here. And we're looking for what? That it's less than. So that means everything to this side. All right. So I'm not going to spend time about explaining all the probability out here. That's why I did it here. Okay. So this is the same reasoning. It keeps going, but we have to stop at the 150. So the probability that X is less, I'm sorry. Yeah. Start at the top at the 150. X is less than 160. Well, that's what the larger minus the smaller. This is what we're finding the probability between 150 and 160. So that's 160 minus 150 over 200 minus 150. And so remember the big capital A and B here. So that's going to be 10 over 50, which is 1 fifth. All right, let's take a look at the next one. All right, so the probability that X is between 160 and 180. All right, so draw it in. I'm, and, and I'll tell you, to me, that this is the most important thing is drawing this in because it makes it so much easier to figure out how to find the probability. All right, so we're looking for the probability between 160 and 180. That would be that area there. So the probability would be what? Well, the probability that, let's see, 160 less than X less than 180. So that's going to be what? 180 minus 160 over 200 minus 150. And so that's going to be what? 20 over 50, which is 2 fifths. All right. So we got two more. And I'm going to erase this. I'll, I'll pause it while I erase it. All right. So let's look at part D. All right. So we got probability that X is between 140 and 155. All right. So let's draw this. So let's see. I've got what? 150 and 200. That's my max and min values. And I want to find the probability, let's see, 155. 
and 140. Oh, well, 140's out here, but we can only go to 150. All right, so the probability that X is between 140 and 155. All right, we're looking for this area. So it's going to be this area plus the area from here to here, which we talked about earlier. That area there is zero, so we don't have to mess with it. So we're just going to find the probability between 150 and 155. So that's going to be 155 minus 150 over 200 minus 150. And that's what, 5 over 50, which is 1 tenth. All right. All right, so let's look at this one. All right, so we've got 150, we've got 200. So let's see, between 170 and 220. Well, once again, you see the 220 would fall out over here. So we're looking for this area plus this area here, which this area here is what? Zero. Okay. So the probability that it's between 170 and 220 is just this area here, which that's going to be what? the 200 minus the 170 over 200 minus 150. So that's what, 30 over 50, which is three fifths. All right, so I hope that helped. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.